everyone, this is Summer Erin and welcome back to the Crazy Cat Lady LP. So we are going ahead and giving Daniela a makeover because you guys, I know we're a little bit on the fence about whether or not you would like to give her a makeover. Well, I know everybody wants her to have a makeover, but you're worried that maybe it wouldn't be the best offered by her new friend. However, I will tell you that her new friend is not going to steer her wrong on this, and even though her new friend has some problems, she does honestly want Daniela to look better. So what I want to do is just find a hairstyle that makes sense with Daniela because I don't think she would get extensions that much. We can cheat a little bit if we want to. I was thinking of doing like a speed thing of this, but I don't really know I'm going to do that. I also don't want to make Daniela look, oh, that's what we gave her before. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and give her, ooh, what do you guys think about, like, giving her, like, a more, like, ginger head look? It's not quite ginger head, it's just a light brown. I think that's nice. So we're going to go ahead and give her that, and then we're just going to give her a little bit of makeup. Honestly, I'm fine with her makeup, but I just want to change up her look a little bit since it is... A new look, maybe not that quite that dark. Yeah, so obviously I don't want to spend too much time on this, but she did go ahead and give a makeover. She's been doing better. She still has all of her cats, but she's been taking better care of them. She hasn't been calling Stevie that much. Well, at all, pretty much, and she just seems to have a better handle on things. She even offered to give one of her pet cats up for adoption. It looks like things are actually going better for Daniela than you guys might imagine. So, is this all an act? I don't know. We're gonna have to find out. So, go ahead and give her that. Oh, I am such an idiot because look what I did. I did that for her. Uh, I can't be bothered to do this, guys. Okay, let me find this real quick, and we'll do the same thing. Yeah, okay. Well, that's that's okay. We're saying her makeup's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and change her outfit for her everyday. I'll go, like, off-screen. I'll change some of her other outfits. But I part of me thinks she would keep some of the outfits, right? And she might not, like, get rid of some of them. I really think that's kind of cute. Like, it's a little funky. I feel like she would still be funky. And I don't want to, like, get rid of that funkiness. But I do want to go ahead and just make it look a little bit better. So, you know, not all the way. Something like that. That's kind of cute. I don't know if... I don't know if that... I don't know if that suits her. Now I'm, like, debating. I don't want to, like, take too much of your guys' time up. Like I said, I can do this off-camera. I kind of like that though for her. We're going to go ahead and go with that because I feel like she would, like I said, keep a more distinct look and not completely average clothing, but she did get rid of at least that for her one outfit. So for her other outfits, she does have crazy cat lady stuff. However, for her everyday outfit, Daniela has agreed to trade that in and she's going to get the cat up for adoption. Hopefully in this part, we will see if that actually happens. So some things are exactly kind of going well for Daniela. She actually did meet up with her sister. I did not show that, of course, on screen. It didn't go over very well, to be honest, because Daniela basically said, well, you set me up with this other woman that has the same problem as me. I don't know if this really was a good idea. So I found it was kind of interesting that Daniela herself called her sister out. And I do think that her sister does maybe have some ulterior motives. So we will get into that a little bit more. However, guys, you're going to be a little bit more shocked because Daniela has been... First of all, can we change her outfit? Because honestly, let's not be in those PJs. Again, I think I like... I think I like got rid of some custom content, so let's go ahead and change her outfit. Anyway, Daniela has been feeling a little bit different lately with her new look and with everything. Guys, oh, okay, good. So look how much better she looks. Now, yes, yeah, so there are still cats kind of roaming around, but that's that's no big deal. Let's let's not do that, Erin. Okay. So she's going to go ahead and as you can see, she's been feeling a little bit different lately and it's, she has been thinking about Stevie, but there's a little something else kind of going on guys. So right now, what is she doing right now? Cause I don't think I want her to do that. So she's going to go down here, maybe into the kitchen. Maybe she's going to go get something to eat. And I really think that Probably Katarina, even though she's sleeping, I think she could get something to eat as well because she probably didn't eat dinner knowing her. Oh, Daniela, can you just go to the bathroom? Of course, when I start filming the LP, 
that would happen. So she's just gonna go ahead and friendly. Maybe she's just gonna ask about her day real quickly. So yeah, so there is a little something going on. <laughs> I was trying to keep it under wraps, guys, but it's kind of obvious right now. So they did start the other night. They both kind of were commiserating, basically, about Good everything Maya. that was going on and, like, making adjustments. And they really started to bond in a way they didn't really anticipate. And Daniela just did a little flirting. Just nothing serious to her. But I think Katarina, it's maybe a little bit more serious. So we're going to have to see if that's really true. So... Mostly, Danielle's been like, I'm still in love with Stevie, but she didn't know that Katarina. That was not a very good first kiss. <laughs> yeah, so Danielle is a little taken back. She doesn't really know what to do right now because she does like Katarina, but she's still in love with Stevie. And they were just flirting, harmoniously flirting, and they had something to drink, and they were kind of just like really upset about stuff. But what Stevie didn't, I mean, with Stevie, oh my gosh, what Daniela didn't know is that Katarina, really since she's moved in, Katarina has really been in to Daniela. So this was kind of planned. And right now, Daniela is just feeling really alone. And basically, that's kind of how that went on. And you guys probably are not going to be a big fan of this. But, like I said, Daniela has gone through some changes, uh -huh. and it's not without emotional difficulties. Let's, let's close this tab. We don't need to see all the cats all the time. It's not without emotional difficulties, and like I said, she just feels like she needs something right now. But on the other hand, I do feel like Katarina is kind of taking a little bit of advantage of her in terms of she knows that... She's really emotionally vulnerable right now. Oh my gosh, the cats are everywhere. They're still in their pee. We should probably take care of that in a minute. So yeah, um, you guys know that you're really into someone when you're willing to stand in cat pee. My goodness gracious. So yeah, so you guys probably aren't a huge fan of that. We're gonna go ahead and it looks like it looks like we're gonna go ahead and kind of take care of their needs though because things aren't going too well um yeah not surprising is it i know you guys were hoping that things maybe were going better for danielle and they kind of are but on the other hand like clearly we've got some problems going on what does she want okay oh her whims i'm like see i'm still getting used to sims 4 i know that sounds silly meet a cat see i feel like See, I don't know. I feel like right now she's distracting herself with her new romance, but what are you doing? Oh, she's mopping up puddles out here. Okay, well, I don't, I didn't really think that was necessary, Daniela. Okay, she's very uncomfortable. We'll go, go to the bathroom. So I'll send her to the bathroom. But yeah, so basically that's what's been happening. And she got into a fight with her sister. And she did go ahead and get a makeover. Got rid of, obviously, one outfit. But she's trying to decide right now what cat to get rid of. And as you guys know, that's very difficult for her. And yeah, so basically what happened is Katarina knew this was a vulnerable time for her. And so Katarina basically took advantage of that a little bit and they've just flirted and that was their first kiss so that's all that's happened so far but like it's kind of not so good right so let's take a look at her needs real quickly i think she does need to go to sleep unfortunately so i actually need to i never edited this oh she's going upstairs perfect they're not close enough i don't think that they can sleep together i don't know guys guys so here's the thing if you can see stevie right now i mean stevie i'm so sorry i keep calling her stevie if you can see daniela's face right now let me show you something daniela is um she's really tired but i think something else is going on with her if you can see her face it's not quite right and so daniela knows that tomorrow is the day she has to get rid of one of her cats and she fought that first kiss just felt made her feel alive in a way that she hasn't for a long time so let's see what happens here i don't know if this is gonna happen 
yeah, it would help with my zoom is, you know. Oh, it didn't happen. Okay. I was thinking maybe there was going to be something a little bit more. Which we'll is just get out of this real quickly. Um, yeah. So, I don't know if there's anything that's going to happen. But like I said, it's possible. Actually, I wonder if she can sleep. Because otherwise I'm going to have to put in a new bed. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to imply anything by this. But, yeah, she's really tired too. Okay, it looks like they can sleep in the same bed. So... Not, not anything super going on here, but they're both sleeping, so yeah. I might, I'm debating if I want to let you go until the morning. I think I might let you go in the morning and just edit this part out, so see you in a minute, guys. Okay, we're back now, and it is only 6 a.m., but I think they have slept long enough. So I'm just going to go ahead and have her get up, and she is going to go ahead and go to the bathroom, honestly, hopefully... And I think, let's take a look at Daniela. Daniela is going to go downstairs and just serve them some breakfast. So today is the day, guys, that she's supposed to get rid of the cats. Like I said, nothing ended up happening. Why the hell is the cat thinking woohoo? I swear, this entire, this entire um, household is for that. But that did not end up happening, as you guys know. And Stevie is gonna just go ahead. Stevie, I am so sorry. It's just that I just recorded Stevie's portion of this and I am seriously just kind of out of my bounds with that. I keep calling Daniela Stevie, I swear. So anyway, basically today's the day to get rid of one of the cats and Daniela is apparently just gonna go down here in this awful get up. I'm sorry you have to see that. But at least her hair is better, you know. it's improvement so she's doing that and then she is she should be taking care stop sleeping go to the bathroom I swear you have to micromanage these sims especially these sims they are especially dysfunctional so anyway we're just gonna go ahead and speed through this hopefully Daniela doesn't burn everybody you know okay come on Daniela you can do it I believe in you I don't think Daniela has very good skills either and the cats, why are you guys all meowing? Like, we, we can't take care of you all the time. Okay, so I think, see, guys, like, is it just me or does it like take a really long time? She's cleaning it up. Okay, well that was a failure. I don't know why there wasn't enough room. Um, clean up. You know what? Oh, okay, so she did, What is what is she doing? Oh, she's cleaning up. Well, that was useless. Okay, so we're gonna have, instead of that, I think what happened was the counters weren't clean and I was an idiot about it, but did you seriously just vomit? Oh my gosh, let's mop that up. Here, you can come down and you can serve us breakfast. Serve breakfast, we'll just have freaking cereal. Fine, we're just having fruit salad. We're gonna just have fruit salad. I don't feel like Daniela would like fruit salad. I don't know why, but that is what we're gonna have and that's just too bad because the cats are on our counter and the cat is now on our cutting board pretty much josh if you're watching this i'm having the same holy shoot man that cat wants to get killed Jeez, josh if you're watching this i mean i swear is it just that like cats really like cutting boards i mean they're not real bright in this game i'm just saying so they're gonna go ahead and fix that however it does seem like Daniela is now still like debating what cat am I gonna get rid of, right? And I honestly think she keeps like going back and forth. It's okay, honey. You don't have to clean up every single puddle. I know. We need to like freaking hire a maid. This is so bad in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kiss her hands. I know you guys aren't gonna like this, but. She just needs a little comfort, okay guys? She's about to ready to get rid of one of the loves of her life, her cat. And it's just really hard for her and technically she and Stevie are not in a relationship so she's not cheating or anything. Go ahead. Are we not, are we not, um, are you too busy eating your fruits out in your little cat costume? Probably. So we're gonna go ahead and Fun. I swear, see my game just like glitches all the time, so I'm just gonna go ahead and kiss her hands. Like I said, I just wanted to let you know, Katarina started all this, and 
Danielle at first was really resistant about it, but, you know, things happen, and, yeah, so, we'll see. Do you guys like their relationship? Do you not like their relationship? Do you not approve very much? Let's see if this happens. Now, very might, it might happen that Daniela decides I'm not going to go that far. I'm not really that into you. I still really love... Wow, that hair is still glitching. We need to fix that. Oh my word. First of all, we need to fix Daniela's hair. Are they going to have a woohoo? Are they really... <laughs> There they are, guys. They are now having a woohoo. And on that note, I think it's a nice, awkward time to end this. So you're going to have to see next time if more comes of this relationship. And if this was just a one-time thing. Or if Daniela is really getting into this relationship. Also, are they going to give up a cat? I don't know. Look at that, guys. Katarina. Oh, they both. Okay, I was going to say, Katarina kind of just slipped out after that. Well, all right then. That's a nice scandalous note to end it on. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm sorry if it's a little long and a little bit odd. And I hope you will tune in next time. Remember, I do switch perspectives, so be sure to follow Stevie's story as well. That is on the City Living Let's Play, at least for right now. No, no more spoilers. But anyway, I'll let you go, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye, guys.